Hello everyone, I'm Tuco, and welcome back to another episode of Dwarf Fortress Season 3, The Necromancer. Now, if you remember last episode, our, um, the cousin of the Goblin King, uh, his, his cousin who was a scholar, who wanted to become a necromancer, uh, attempted to raid the necromancer tower straight off the bat, and he got, uh, absolutely swarmed and mauled to death. So, um... In the court of the Goblin King, they heard the news that his cousin had died. And, of course, the advisors of the Goblin King, one of which, uh, being a human, scoffed at the notion that a goblin could ever achieve such a, such a lofty goal of actually becoming a necromancer and, you know, challenging an entire, you know, tower of uh, undead and necromancers. Um, and so, therefore, the Goblin King uh, said, then why, why don't you go out and uh, take over the necromancer tower? And, well, this... This uh, human scholar was um, was thinking of the idea of you know, just possibly taking over the world. So he decided, what the heck, you know, this this will help me in my conquest of the world. So today we are going to actually uh, set out in the world as this human. Um, I don't know their name, uh, so, so we'll see what that's going to be like. Uh, they're going to be a hero. Our character is going to be a human hero because, well, um, yeah. <laughs> no, because... Um, um, he, he's read up on a lot of books and stuff like that, so, so he's, he's, he's well-known. He's a well-known advisor, hero, like, slash guy. Uh, so we'll start off like that. Um, now, we're going to start off, of course, the Maw of Tones, obviously. Well, no, not the Maw of Tones. Where is it? Self of Moistness. Where are you? There you are. Self, self of Moistness. Now, yeah, so let's start off there. Now, as our hero... Um, I'm not quite sure what kind of weapon I want to use. I, mean, I guess we could use... Well, yeah, we're going to have to use a Warhammer or a Mace. And I, I'm kind of leaning towards a Warhammer. We'll go for a Warhammer once again, just to make it a, a little bit easier on us. Just just a teensy tad a bit easier. And I probably should uh, give him uh, abilities, of course. So uh, let us uh, give him at least a Talented Hammer, I think would be... Well advised. Uh, social awareness should be... Oops, keep hitting the wrong buttons. Now, social awareness should be decently high simply because he is an advisor. So I am trying to make this as accurate as possible. Uh, but I do want to make it him a little bit a little bit more powerful than the average uh, scholar advisor of a king. Uh, so let's see here. We're going to do social awareness. Empathy I really don't care for. Spatial sense. Eh. Linguistic ability I am going to have to have a little bit high. Uh, as well as memory, perhaps a little bit. Uh, creativity, willpower, focus. Mm, we'll give him a little bit more. Obviously, we're going to give him strength, agility, toughness. No, but uh, we'll give him strength. Well, let's see. What kind of guy do we want? Let's go for kind of a more agile, kind of slender kind of guy. Uh, so we'll, we won't give him strength. We'll do below average strength. No, okay. We aren't going to do below average strength. That'd be really, really hard. But we'll just make him... Uh, agile and also we'll give him high endurance too um, now what else should we do uh, analytical or focus I guess focus is well needed in an advisor yeah so we'll do that now let's see here we have a talented hammer uh, we should also probably of course we're gonna need swimming and climber uh, just so that we don't drown and so that we can actually climb things if necessary um, now observer and ambusher. I don't think we need this time around. We don't really need a tracker. Shield user, probably we're going to need at least adequate in uh, dodger. Actually, let's get a bit of dodging. You know that that might not be so bad, especially since this guy. I, I want a you know a little skinnier guy. You know, uh, kind of lengthy. So we'll, we'll do a dodger. Um, now wrestler, striker, kicker, biter, thrower, all that. Mm, we're not going to do. Uh, reader is one that we are going to do. That way, you can actually understand <laughs> what the heck he's reading. And I do believe that's all we've got. So, a novice reader. Uh, I kind of wanted to do a writer and a speaker. Wouldn't be too bad either. But whatever. That that should be fine for now. I think it should be pretty good. I think. Yeah. All right. So we'll start off here. Now we are going to be a newly fortress mystery guard. Don't don't pay any heed to any of that. Uh, but we are going to advance to try and find. That one, there it is. Uh, the one that we did start off in the first place, uh, because I'm not really sure if that's the capital or not. Actually, I do want to, well, we can check that out. We can check out which one's the capital, because I'm not very certain on 
what exactly the capital is. I mean, I assume, yeah, I assume it's like in the mountain halls here. Uh, well, actually, you know what? We can just find it pretty easily if we just go to summary here of the world. If it'll load. <laughs> and we can go down the uh, south of moistness, not the mauve tones. There are neighbors. Uh, and let's go to the Goblin King. Find out where he's living. And I guess that's where the capital is, I'd, I'd assume. Uh, let's see here. Where are you from? Um, it's not wanting to respond. <laughs> Uh, well, well, we'll see that later once uh, it does finish responding. But let's see here. We'll start off here. Um, human hero, Sarvesh. Sarvesh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess we can do Sarvesh. Let's see here. Actually, let's try a different name. Uh, randomized name. Momuz, Mosus, Feb, Cogsack, Rakus. Ozul. I like Azul. Ozul sounds pretty good. Uh, and let's see here. Come a human. All right. So let's see here. She has very low cheekbones and she has a very broad chin. She is short. Her hair is clean. Short. I don't really want short. I kind of want, you know, tall and lengthy. Uh, so let's randomize that real quick here. Uh, let's see here. Very low cheekbones. Mm, low voice. She's short, 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 short. Did I choose a dwarf? I don't think I chose a dwarf. I might have chosen a dwarf. Oh, no, that's a human. Maybe a guy is taller. Let me see here. Um, I don't really know. It doesn't say he's short. I wonder if I can find one. No, that one says he's short. Huh. Are all humans short? Because <laughs> that's kind of funny, you know, because I can imagine dwarves being short, but... Humans? This is kind of funny. Huh. Anyway, we'll just go with this guy. Uh, short sideburns are neatly combed. He has a very long mustache. with really double braids. He has a very long beard. It's neatly combed. His hair is clean shaven. He is short, for some odd reason. Uh, he has very low cheekbones. He has a low voice. Uh, his nose is narrow. His eyelashes are extremely short. His slightly wide-set green eyes are slightly protruding. His ears are somewhat narrow. His hair is black. And his skin is pink, obviously. Uh, from being underground for so long. So, let's see here. Uh, goal. Where's where's the goal? He personally respects fair dealing and fair play. Uh, that's not really con conducive of a, of a villain. Although, I'm not really playing a villain. He's, he's an anti-hero. Let's just call him an anti-hero. That's, that's, that's the best way of doing it. Uh, but where can I find goals? Where are goals? Because I remember the goals of the other ones. Uh, let's see here. He is obsessed with details. Uh, he personally sees war as a useful means to an end and see equal parts of harmony and discord as parts of life. That sounds like a pretty good anti-hero. Uh, but I don't see his goal. Moderate need to argue. That's not too bad. Uh, but do humans not have goals? Because <laughs> that's kind of weird. Um, but I don't see a goal in his life. But I I can deal, deal with this. He personally sees war as a useful means to an end, equal parts of harmony and discord. I kind of like that. Hmm, that might be pretty good. All right then, I think we're going to go with this fella here. Now, of course, uh, going through the fortress is uh, quite a tediousum, te tediousum uh, project. So I'm kind of I'm going to skip that. But first, I do want to see where this guy is living. Um, looks like he's living in Lucid Wheel. Oh, that must be the that must be the capital then. 180 dwarves. <laughs> That's quite a few. Yeah, I think this is where he lives then. Huh. Very interesting. All right then. Uh, I guess we're going to uh, the peaceful town of. Wait, what? Wait, is there an invasion? Holy cow! What the peaceful town of Atrias? Is threatened. The forces of the elf Nemo, <laughs> Nemo, uh, Beast Swim are on the march. Commanded by the elf Salo Skelly Realms, um, the Plated Lance. They will have no mercy. There is little time. You must flee. Perhaps your friends and fa our family and friends can be convinced to leave. Where are we? <laughs> I, I really want to know. Where are we? Um, sites. 
So it is under siege. Um, okay, maybe we shouldn't have chosen this start. Well, it seems like the elves have um, attacked. Now, what were the elves' names again? Uh, you had Nemo. Let's look for Nemo Beast Swim, because I kind of want to figure out uh, if he is part of the elves that we are at war I mean, obviously we're at war with them, but I don't know if they're the specific ones that um, we are after. So Nemo Beast Swim, uh, born in 41. Wait, 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 hold up. The Maw of Tones. They're the dwarven civilization that are neighbors to us. We're at war with them? What? Okay, that's very interesting. And not only that, she's an elf. Okay, this is... No, Maw of, to Maw of Tones is an elven civilization. My bad. Yeah, we're at war with Maw of Tones. My bad. Uh, oh, I'm thinking of the Violent Canyons. <laughs> No, 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 the Mob Tones. Yeah, we're at war with the Mob Tones. Of course we are. Um, but let me see here. You're queen. Okay, so that's the queen. All right, then. And then, of course, we have... I don't see the princess. Huh, that's very... Or no. Would it be the princess? Yeah, the princess compact scene. Hmm. So I guess the elves have really been pushing in the war of squeezing. Okay, that's very interesting. Oh, what's this? Nemo fought the dwarf Ral while defeated. The latter escaped unscathed. Uh, the latter. Oh, <laughs> that's real bad, Ral. You're so close <laughs> to actually beating their queen. Actually, that'd be very interesting. But uh, it does appear that they are under siege, um, which I don't quite know what that means for us. I mean, I know that's bad, but. Um, well, I guess we'll see once we get to the surface. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, I'm not even close to being out of this place, and it looks like uh, the elves have already invaded. <laughs> um, uh, okay, this is not very good at all, but we should help this dwarf out. Uh, so let us attack the the elf sword swordsman here. Now we don't have any, we really don't have any armor at this point in time, and I doubt we can get any from the dwarves because they're going to be short and we can't fit into dwarven equipment. I was actually planning with this human to go to the, that tomb, and I, I know there's a possibility of me being cursed again, but that equipment was really good, so I kind of wanted to head back there, but it appears that we're, it's not going to be as easy as, as I thought it would be. So let's go for the lower body. Uh, it's very square. Okay, so we did hit the elf. That's good. And honestly, the elf shouldn't be too hard to take down. Now, I know I've said that before, and I've been very wrong. Uh, but this guy doesn't seem too bad. He fell over. Uh, we're going to hit him in the upper body. Hit square dab in the middle. Uh, looks like he... Oh, no. I don't want to... I don't want to attack the dwarf. <laughs> uh, but I do want to attack the elf, and we're gonna, just going to go for the right foot. It's very easy. <laughs> we got him pretty good, too. Uh, let's go for the right lower arm, then. And I'm not really sure how this is all going to go. This is, I, I really have no clue how this is going to end up. Uh, because the elves are after us. And to tell you the truth, I like I said, I don't know what, what's going to happen. Uh, this entire place has been is under siege by the elves. And the elves might win. <laughs> Like they did against our place. But then again, there might be some more powerful dwarves in here. And there might be some more actual warriors. Because if you guys remember last time at, in my fortress. Hey, we finally struck him down. Sweet. Um, but if you remember last time in my fortress. Um, it wasn't. The reason why it fell is because all my dwarves got captured by Compact Safe. Uh, in that horrible, horrible attack on their capital. And as such, we lost all of our fighting force, and therefore, basically, we didn't have anyone to defend. So, and that's the reason why we lost, obviously. Um, but here, that hasn't happened. We, we still have, or there's still all the dwarves and guardsmen. It looks like they're all rushing upstairs, so we should be fine, I hope. Uh, but right now, we're going to head down here, and well, actually, there's no equipment to be had. Uh, I was wondering if there was going to be some more, some more, uh, you know, uh, really, really horrible, horrible things. Okay, so it does, it does say small. All right. I figured, I just want to grab some food and then we'll be out of here. Because I do remember the way out. So honestly, I think we should be fine. Um, but they're 
should be more elves rushing down here as we speak. Uh, which obviously isn't the best, but it's going to happen. Uh, so we are definitely going to have to watch out for that going up the stairs, obviously. Uh, we'll grab all these prepared wolf intestines. Might as well uh, bring some food for the journey. It slows us down just a tad. But honestly, I think we should be fine. Um, actually, I don't quite remember the way out of here. <laughs> but I think we should be just fine. Um, I believe so. Um, but I don't see any more elves running down here, so I'm not sure. If, I don't think it's over. It's definitely not over. Uh, that's for certain. But we might be a little bit, um, a little bit more on the safer side. I did see all of those dwarves rushing up, so we should be a bit more on the safer side. Like that guy, he's still wounded from that attack from the elf, obviously. Um, which of course isn't the best, isn't the best at all. Uh, but it looks like he's going to be fine. He'll be all right, obviously. But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to, well, let me see what's in here, this room first. Okay. There's nothing in this room. All right. So I will see you guys once I reach the surface or of course, encounter another, uh, bloodthirsty elf. All right. So we made it to the surface, but I don't see any, any elves. So we might be in the clear, not hundred percent certain, but. I don't see any elves, which is very good, <laughs> very good indeed. Uh, now we do have a steel warhammer, so I'm just going to keep that uh, simply because while steel is pretty good, um, it isn't silver, so I don't think it does any extra undead damage, but I think we should be fine. Uh, let us grab, however, um, some dwarven beer. And also, we are going to need to find ourselves a companion. Uh, now, really, we could pick any companion, um, I think. Would be all right, maybe. <laughs> I would like a warrior, however. And I don't think there's any up here. I was hoping that there'd be a, a fight breaking out, you know, with the elves and all that. I was hoping that that'd be the case, but I don't see any, any elf warriors. So... Either they beat the invasion or the invasion's still going on. Or we just got through like the last little bits of it, maybe? I'm not quite sure. Uh, but if we walk outside, we might be able to see if there is an invasion or not. I'm not quite certain about that. But you'd think if there was an invasion, the AI would send all of its units or all of the <laughs> uh, citizens of this fine fortress uh, to shelters. But I don't think that's the case. Wow, I took a lot of uh, a lot of beer. Uh, what did I just drop? I just dropped everything, didn't I? <laughs> well, that's uh, that's not good. Let's uh, grab everything again uh, because it wasn't. I didn't want to drop everything. Uh, so let's grab all the dwarven beer. Okay, so that should be good. Uh, that should be enough dwarven beer. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Throw, drink, and eat. Okay, uh, eat. Yeah, all right. So we do have uh, beer. Now, like I said, we are going to need to grab a companion here. Anyone will do at this point. Um, now let me see here. Okay, who do we got? Um, we have a cook. A broker. Hmm. Don't really want a broker. Oh, an elf maceman. <laughs> I don't really want an elf in my in my uh, ranks, but honestly, I don't think it'd be so bad because we'd basically just be sending him to his doom. So, I mean, honestly, I don't have any problem with that. <laughs> uh, let's greet listener and grab an elf. Uh, long live the cause. Uh, it was good to see you. Long live the cause. Okay, so he's with the cause, whatever that is. Um, and let us see. Let us ask him to join me on my adventures. Hey, he agrees. Wonderful. All right, so let's go, you, you weird elf. <laughs> All right, now I know it's kind of weird to have an elf, especially since uh, we refer the, uh, the destruction of, of course, the elves. Because they're a vile, evil race. But this guy, I mean, he's not too bad. I mean, he is a mace, uh, mace elf. And we, of course, we are sending him to his doom. And most likely ours as well. So, honestly, he's not, it's not too bad. 
Now, I am wondering about this elven inv invasion, because I don't see it. <laughs> you know, I saw the, the one guy who got down there somehow. I don't know how he got through the guards. But somehow, somehow he got down there, and he started tearing up the place. And, of course, I put him in his place and you know, took him out. But um, I'm kind of wondering about that, uh, about that invasion. It probably was just the end of it. They probably got... a a ways into the fortress until they got defeated but if you remember last time with my fortress there's like there's like a hundred plus elves and all kinds of weird creatures uh and it it didn't go too well so i don't really know if that's what happened to them or if it was just like a scouting party you know a few like a raiding party a few you know elves or something like that not really sure but um looks like it didn't go too well <laughs> for the elves I didn't see any dead bodies, so I don't really know if you know if uh, they actually invaded or not, or if they're still waiting. I really don't know. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it is once we get out here uh, and we get to the fast travel screen. We'll uh, we'll see if we got any elves in the area, any uh, invasions or anything like that. Uh, once we get past this tree line, we should be able to fast travel. No, we still have to get a ways away, and I don't see any. In I don't see any uh, encampments around the fortress, so I think I think they're fine. So I am really wondering if that was just a raid or, ooh, I don't know what that was, <laughs> or um, or an actual invasion that just went south for the elves really quickly. I'm not really certain, but I think we can travel now. Uh, gotta get away from obstacles. What obstacles? There's none here, except for trees. <laughs> except for trees. But uh, yeah, I really don't. I don't know about the invasion. <laughs> I, I think it was just a ruse. It's probably just a rumor. They probably just had one, one, uh, one elf who just kind of happened to wander into the dwarven fortress. Had really bad sense of direction. Just kind of waltzed in there. Um, no one really took uh, any heed because there are a few, there are a few elves already living in the fortress. But he just kind of snuck in, and then once he realized where he was, he tried to take out as many as he could, but he couldn't do it. <laughs> Thanks to me, of course. Um, now. I did want to go to those tombs, like I said, to get that pretty OP gear. No, I, I wouldn't say it's OP. I mean, it's not adamantine or anything like that. But uh, it's going to be kind of hard to find it if you don't manufacture it yourself. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't see an invasion. There's no invasion here. Oh, well, I guess there wasn't any to begin with. All right, then. That's fine by me. I guess we can head those tombs. Hopefully, we don't get those uh, curses. Now, we do have a pretty high dodge. So I think those traps should be just fine for us to get through. Um, now, of course, let's get through uh, the hamlets here. Don't know if it's a good idea to be going there um, at night. Uh, probably a pretty poor time to be going there, but uh, we'll do it anyway. Why not? If I can find it. Uh, I don't remember where they are. Oh, there they are. Haha. <laughs> Found them. Sweet. All right, so we'll head over to these places here. We'll come up and over, and we'll stop. Can't travel through a tomb? Of course I can't. All right, but let's stop here. Uh, we'll grab something to eat, we'll grab some cave lobster, and we'll also some beer, I think it'll be fine. Alright. Well, let's say nice and inebriated. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, bust through this door here. We do have a war hammer, so it shouldn't be too hard. Um, so we'll bust through this door. Woo! Yeah, we're not picking that lock. <laughs> we're just going to bash it down. Alright, so we did bash it down. Now... I do believe that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, in next episode, we'll do some tomb raiding, and hopefully we don't get a curse or anything like that, or die to any uh, horrible trap set by the makers of this tomb. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully, uh, in the coming episodes, we can actually take out the necromancers, find the secret to life and death, and then destroy that secret, of course, and we being the only holders of that, take over the world. Sounds good to me. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please be sure to hit that like button if you did. And as always, God bless, and I'll see you next time.